Okay, we're going to make some adjustable chicken wings uh, today. Just hot wings, whatever, they may or may not be that hot. And what we want to do is, you want to use fresh wings, you don't want to uh, ever use frozen. I know that's easy in some cases, but I never, I never do that. Buy them, cut the tips off, cut them up. Uh, it's a little more work, but it's well worth it. They're usually larger and uh, tastier. So, and the first thing we do with them is we cook them in uh, whatever deep fryer you got. I use peanut oil on the stove, and uh, I'm cooking 15 to 18 wings for 11 minutes in the fryer. They'll be baked here uh, later with the sauce on, and uh, and we'll see that part of the process in a moment. Uh, what makes it simple and adjustable is that we only have like three ingredients in the sauce. Uh, Catalina dressing, Frank's Original Red Hot, uh, and margarine. I use Catalina because it has a bunch of uh, vegetable flavors in it and that makes it a simple one kind of uh, ingredient? one item uh, combination of ingredients. Uh, I know the new bottles don't reflect this but I mean it's kind of like it used to be. I hope they didn't change it. Uh, so it's kind of like the V8 of salad dressings, I guess you might think of it. Now, what I call, why I call these adjustable is that um, you can adjust the flavor from sweeter to hotter by adjusting the ratio of Frank's Red Hot uh, to the Catalina. My standard uh, use is 4 to 1. And here I'm doing 2 cups of Red Hot to a half a cup of uh, Catalina. And that would be enough to do about 15 pounds of wings. Now, I kind of overbatched it this time because I'm only doing about 9 pounds today, but um, they'll be extra and I'll uh, just pour it out or if somebody wants to use it on the sauce, dump more of it on, which I don't like wet wings, which is the reason I'm doing it this way in the first place. Um, so. So, uh, okay, I've combined my Catalina and Red Hot, and I'm simmering it, uh, and, and once it starts warming, I'm adding a half a stick of margarine, and we're going to let that uh, simmer, and that all continue stirring it all together. Now, something I didn't do originally, but have been doing the last couple of times, is throwing about a tablespoon of, of uh, coarse black pepper into the, um, into the sauce and stir in as it simmers so that you can have like little black flecks of flavor that will appear as everything bakes on the wings. Okay, so this is simmering nicely and we'll leave it on there. You can only use it. It has to be simmering together and mixed up for five minutes or so. And so what we wind up with after the initial frying of the wings is uh, a nice kind of golden light um, bunch of fried wings that are probably almost done. But we're now going to uh, separate them into uh, one layer level pans and apply the sauce. And then we're going to bake them in turn um, about 10 minutes a turn and depending on how they go it's usually three or four turns so so now I've separated the wings into two single layer uh, baking dishes and then from the sauce we're just pouring about one tablespoon on top of each wing And, you know, another thing goes back to the thing about time. Uh, but it's worth it, believe me. The excess will run down into the bottom, which we're going to use in subsequent turns. So that's the reason why we don't want too much on each wing. In other words, that's why I said about a tablespoon. The spoon Luciana is using is a little bigger. It's bigger than a tablespoon. Um, but... We want to drip about a tablespoon onto each wing. That way, it'll be more for the turns to bake, to get mixed on and bake on. And the whole idea behind this is that um, so that they they don't aren't too wet, that they can all be baked on and dried, but still have the same flavor uh, that you expect from a wing, but are um, as handleable as any other kind of finger food. Uh, this. 
recipe originally, uh, as simple as it is, uh, we kind of just made up, but then subsequently uh, saw it on uh, something similar on the internet, uh, and, and it's fairly popular. So now I'm going to bake these on, uh, in 10 minute turns, and on the first turn we'll bring them back out, turn them all over, stick them back in, alternating uh, shelves in the oven, and uh, we'll uh, provide a picture at each turn and um, see how the process goes. Normally three to four turns, again there's a time thing, and 10 minute turns. The oven's at 365. Um, and hopefully in 40 minutes we'll have a nice uh, bunch of wings. Okay, we're at 10 minutes and it's the first turn. Um, so we've pulled them out of the oven and we're just turning them around. Now the, remember we didn't add any, we didn't mix them the first time. We're mixing them this time and uh, the sauce, when you're done mixing, should be all pretty much taken up after the first turn. So. And this is what we'll continue to bake on in the next couple of turns. Uh, all, this, all the wet stuff should be taken up and all gone. Um, and so uh, we make the turn and back into the oven for the next 10 minutes. Okay, we've pulled it out for the um, second turn and we've mixed them around. It doesn't look a lot different than the first turn, but believe me, it's working. Um, we've turned and mixed them and they're ready to go in uh, for the third round of 10 minutes. Uh, so here we are at the last turn and after this uh, all you see all the all the wetness has been taken up by the wings and now we just cook them to bake everything on and, and from here on out you get them the way you want them. Usually it's just another 10 minutes. And after the last turn, this is what they look like in the last 10 minutes. Um, everything's dried on. They're a little moist. Delicious. Uh, let them cool, plate them, and off you go.